Thank you. So, you're, you're biting into my time. Kamala's determined to show she's even dumber than Joe. <laughs> Queen Cam on the campaign trail brings us our video of the day because we know there's a duality to the nature of democracy. We know there's a duality to the nature of democracy. On the one hand, incredible strength when it is intact. What it does for its people to protect and defend their rights, their liberty, and their freedom. Incredibly strong and incredibly fragile. I did not see that coming. <laughs> Going from strong and then coming up with fragile. Why am I suddenly transported back to a dorm room at 3 a.m. waiting for someone to pass a bong? <laughs> But in case her words didn't sink in the first time, here she is saying the same thing months ago. When we think about the strength of our democracy, you know, I think that there's a duality to the nature of democracy. When it's intact, oh, it's so strong in terms of what it does to uphold and protect individual rights and freedoms. It's so strong in its nature. And it is very fragile. <gasps> she did it again. It was the way she, I didn't see the fragility coming. Of course, strength and fragility are opposites, much like Kamala and smart. <laughs> but she's so scripted, even her impromptu pit stops are as staged as my first wife's suicide. <laughs> Yeah, you're, you're not supposed to be the one to go like that. <laughs> oh, Greg, oh, I've been watching Greg too Peterson. much Dateline. <laughs> Greg Peterson, ladies and gentlemen. And yes. Take this Doritos run in Pittsburgh. Ah, oh, Dougie, there they are. They're up here, yeah. Thank you. I know you want those. And these are, this is my go-to. The original nacho cheese. Oh. You see corn nuts over there, Isn't this it? Oh, yeah, that's oh, there. Yeah. There. Yeah. there you go. Yeah. <laughs> it's so nice of them to impersonate regular people. She wanted Dougie to buy her a box of airheads, but that would be cannibalism. <laughs> Finally, here she is giving a pep talk to a football team. You all have taken it upon yourselves to take on that responsibility of being role models and to inspire people. And by doing that, and all that that requires, which is the hard work, the practice, working as a team, knowing that you will be undefeated even if you don't win every game. Hmm? Huh? <laughs> Wait a second. You don't have to win and you can still be the winner? Well, it's true for her. Isn't that how she became the Democrat nominee? <laughs> Jamie, were you inspired by all of that? Um, I was not. <laughs> <laughs> this is, uh, Greg, just like uh, Joy Behar's dressmaker once said, there's so much material here, I don't know where to start. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I falter for the, for the two takes for the Doritos thing. No. I don't think that, I feel like some of those bathroom selfies you sent me, I don't think you're getting those on the first try. <laughs> um, <laughs> They're too True. good. They're too good. I, sometimes with Kamala, Kamala, I feel like she, I feel like they go, I always say it wrong and people get mad at me. I don't know how to say it. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Um, I feel like sometimes they go, hey, for fun, we'll give you just five words. Do the whole speech with just those five words. It's like a game show. That's what, now, Greg, you know, I've never said this before. You know I love Venn diagrams, right? Right, yeah. Do you guys know what a Venn diagram is? It's like three circles, right? Yeah. And with Kamala Harris, it overlaps right where cringe and repetition are, right in the middle. That's the Venn diagram. <laughs> She went into that convenience store and asked for corn nuts, Kat. Seems a bit weird. What are your thoughts on that? I think that's a delicious snack. It really is. Yeah, actually. It really is. I, I couldn't believe the football speech. I mean, I, 
I could have done better. Yeah, you could have. I know you could have. Yeah, and I, look, I'm not a sports gal. No. But I do know that to be undefeated, you do need to win all the games. That is true. <laughs> I mean, okay, so... Not that, not that long ago, my husband was watching lacrosse. I know, I'll accept all condolences. Um, <laughs> but one of the players, and you wouldn't know his name because like literally nobody watches it except for five people. Mm. But one of the players was like, if we want to be first, we need to win the most games on the side, and I was making fun of it for days. Mm -hmm. I was like, look at this genius that you have on here that you watch, like what else would you say? Like, oh, if we undefeated, you'd have to win all of them? Like, it's too obvious to say. I stand corrected. Yes. <laughs> I, I hate to admit I was wrong, but apparently not as obvious as I thought. What do you think she was thinking, if we can assume she was I, thinking? I gotta be honest, if I was playing ball hey. back then and she gave me that speech, <laughs> I never would have played ball again. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm, whenever she talks, I just always see the Princess Bride. I always see, and I feel like every time she talks, she says, inconceivable, inconceivable. <laughs> and I just want to say, I don't think that word means what you think it means. Yes. Like, she just says stuff. And like, the duality of what she says on one hand, yes. strong <laughs> and developed, and it grabs you and it brings you in. And on the other hand, you have no idea what the hell she's saying. <laughs> Shalou, was there anything inspiring from what you saw there? Yeah, I mean, I, I, I gotta be inspired by that undefeated thing. I mean, that yeah. makes, that's like motivational uh, stuff, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I should tell my kids, uh, you know, you don't, you can still have straight A's if you get some C's. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but I think, here's my theory. I mean, when I first heard that duality thing, I was like, oh, that's another Kamala word salad, you know? But then you, you sent the other tape and you realize that that is a speech that she has worked on. I think her handlers, she's obviously known for the word salad stuff. And she, like, you know, she just kind of rambles on. I think her handlers are now writing word salad speeches so it makes it seem like it's all normal. Yes. You know, they're normalizing her idiot talk. Yes, exactly. It's like a doll and they're feeding the, the list of words in it and then all you gotta do is pull the string. Yeah. <laughs> all right, up next, the media gets snooty when Trump jokes about beauty. Yeah. Hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.